Alrighty, horses, welcome back. I should open all of my videos with that intro. I really hate actually when I'm watching a YouTube video and they have the same intro, like, uh, I don't know, they made a weird um, animation of their channel name at the beginning of every video. But maybe if you had something personal like me manually singing each intro, like, today we're gonna learn about pasting images. Then, uh, well, then I'll probably lose all my subscribers, so I probably shouldn't do that. But in this video, what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to take two images and combine them together. Basically, the equivalent of copying one image, such as this, and pasting it on top of another image. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to take this little girl's head and paste it right in the middle of this. There is no point to it whatsoever, but it's awesome just for demonstrating. So the first thing we need is to make two different objects, two different pillow objects, one of this image and one of this image. So I'm going to name the first one sister, why not? Of course that's image open and the parameter is the file name, so sister dot it's a jpeg. And for the second one it's actually a ping. This one right here. And I'm way too lazy to uh type all that so it was actually probably could have typed it faster girl dot ping so now we have two pillow objects one is this and one is that bada bing bada boom pretty easy so far so the first thing we need is we actually say okay we're gonna be pasting something on top of this image right here so we need to give it the area that we want to paste now we also know that this is the image that we're pretty much going to copy and paste in. But what we have to do right now is a little math. So whenever I click on this in PyCharm, we can see that the size of this is 200 by 200. Now I am stressing this because whenever we paste it on, we need to give it the exact coordinates and that area needs to be 200 by 200. If the coordinates you give it are off at all then you're gonna come across the area I mean an error the re reason I said area is because that's what I'm gonna type so since I want to paste it in the middle and this original image is 400 by 400 the coordinates to post a 200 by 200 image is three right there so again 100 by 100 is a top left somewhere around here and 300 by 300 is right down here somewhere and of course since this is 200 by 200 then this area is gonna fit perfectly so now that we determine the area what we need to do now is we need to take that original image which is the sister object and we need to call a function called paste now paste is gonna take two parameters the first thing it's gonna say is okay what are you pasting on top of this sister picture well, we're actually going to be pasting this object, which is this image. So we're going to be pasting that on top of it. And the only other thing is it asks, okay, now give me the coordinates of where you want to paste it. Okay, sir. Well, we actually just made them right there. And, uh, well, there you go. All right. So now what we did is we basically took this sister image and we pasted something on top of it. So now if we just call sister.show, check this out. Run main, look at that. Now of course, if you look in this file display, whatever it's called, the file name, you can see that this is indeed one image. These aren't two separate files. And if you're familiar with Photoshop, these are the layers. This is actually one layer. So we took that image and we pasted it in exactly. So I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. If we said that our paste area was like 334 for the second one, whenever we try to run this, then we're going to get a bunch of problems right here because it says pretty much the area that you're pasting into is not equal to the size of the object. So that's why I uh, kept stressing the math. You have to calculate it before. And I'll also show you guys later on. Um, how you like right now we'd probably have to take a calculator if we had any weird size images but I'll show you guys how to get the um, sizes dynamically and figure it out like that but you guys probably could already figure it out from the tutorial so far so I'm just gonna stop rambling 
that is how you take two images, paste them together. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.